Hey guys, so I filmed a video quite recently where I did my full face of makeup using Super Drugs Absolute Cheapest Makeup and you guys seem to really enjoy that video and you asked me to do another one but using Boots Absolute Cheapest Makeup instead. So I'm going to be doing my makeup with a load of products that were all around like £1 and I'm going to see how it turns out. Actually I'm looking at the price list and they're all more like around £2 or £3 but you know, still pretty damn cheap. So the first thing that I've got is the Natural Collection Long Lasting Foundation. First thing I'm thinking is it might be a little bit too dark for me. This was $2.99. Oh, this is in the shade Porcelain, which is usually... Ugh, usually the shade that I would get in most foundations. It's usually like really pale, but this looks a little bit like it might be too dark. I'm not sure, I might be wrong, but yeah, I'm gonna give this a go. I had quite a few comments from people asking if I could make this like cheapest makeup full face thing into a series. Give this video a thumbs up if you would like me to do that and comment down below some different places you'd want me to actually get the cheapest stuff from. I was thinking of maybe doing another one from like Beauty Bay, is, is that what it's called? I've never really used that website. Or if you can think of anywhere else definitely let me know because they're very interesting to film. It's good to see what you can get for like the absolute cheapest. Do you know what? I actually quite like that. I think it's quite a good foundation. I'd say it's a tiny bit too dark for me maybe, but I actually think it's pretty good. I'd say it's like a medium coverage and it just leaves quite a nice finish. Like it's blended out really nicely. Wow, we're actually having a good start for once. This is great. <laughs> so the next product is also by Natural Collection. I promise this whole video isn't by them. The Natural Collection Conceal. Is that all it's called? I think so. Uh, oh, it has chamomile in it to help soothe and protect delightful. I got mine in the shade Fair and it's just, oh it's on like a little stick. That is going to be too orange for my under eyes, like I don't think it's showing up on my hand but I think that's going to be a bit too dark for my under eyes. I mean it definitely blended out really nicely and yeah, I thought it was going to be way too dark but it doesn't look too bad at all. So the next thing is also by Natural Collection again. Like I said, I promise the next thing is not. The next thing is a different brand, I swear. But it's just because they have a lot of like cheap products on boots. So this powder was... 199 so the same as the concealer and it's their matte pressed powder. I got mine in the shade neutral. Oh, this one has chamomile in it as well to help soothe and protect. There we go. My whole face is going to be soothed and protected against what? It looks like this. It looks like an all right shade actually. So, yes, I shall give that a go. There we go. That is the powder. I never really know what to say about a powder because it's like, well, it doesn't really do anything, does it? I mean, it's mattified my face a little bit. I feel like the foundation is getting darker. I think it's kind of oxidizing as we're going along because I'm looking more and more like I don't match my neck. But yeah, that's weird, isn't it? Because you'd think the shade porcelain would be a lot paler than that. So for a contour product, I've got this Makeup Obsession Contour Powder in the shade C102 Light. And this was, I think this was one of the most expensive things in this video. It was three quid, but but it actually looks like a pretty nice contour shade. It doesn't look too dark. It doesn't look too warm. It looks like it will do the job. So yeah, hopefully this goes well. Okay, so that was an absolute pain to get into. I don't know why I struggled so much to get into that. I ended up stopping filming and I had to go and get scissors and all sorts. Like I had to get my tools out. Oh, what's going on here? I actually think that worked really well. I think that's a really nice contour shade and it blended out pretty nicely. That's a really nice contour and I, they had like different shades, obviously. They have some darker ones as well, but if you are like quite fair skinned like me, the one in light is actually pretty damn good. So for blush, I've got the 17 blush and I went for the shade China Pink because I actually don't know. That's just what I went for. This cost me $2.99. Yeah, $2.99. So it is just your standard pinky shade. I can't tell if it's matte or if it's got like... Oh, I think it is matte. But then part of me thinks I can see a little bit of shimmer, but I don't know. So 
So that is what the blush looks like. I actually think it's a really pretty blush shade. Like it's a really nice pink. It's not too much. So far this is going well, but I do keep looking in the viewfinder and just seeing this difference in color. And I'm like, nah, I look awful. But all the products are like working. Do you know what I mean? Like they work, but I'm not looking so great. <laughs> story of my life. So for highlighter, I've got another Makeup Obsession product. This is their highlighter in the shade Pearl and it looks like a very pretty one. I have, what one is it? Oh, I have their highlighter in the shade Moon and it's like a purple toned one. I used to flip in love that. It was like my favorite highlighter ever for so long. It's like quite a pale goldy toned highlighter, I'd say. So yeah, I'm just realizing now that I've got to try and get into this and it's probably gonna be just as challenging as the contour was. Hooray, got my tool again try and hack into it. Listen, I'm literally like carving at it, making a sculpture. I shouldn't have looked away. <laughs> Not when I'm doing that with scissors. That is so pretty. Look at that. Oh, I always say the same thing, don't I? Pretty sure my highlighter phrase is, look at that. Obviously that's what you're looking at. I think this one is really good and I like that it's got like, do you know what I mean? It's got that like goldy look to it when it catches it in certain lights. It's very golden and I often find like gold highlights are too dark for my skin tone. But this one has that like gold look to it but it's not too dark so I think that's worked really well. It's so pretty. I also forgot to say the highlighter is £3 so it's the same as this one. I think most of their little squares like this are £3 so yeah, not too bad. I'm now going to move on to... What are we doing next? I need to like look what I haven't done. These guys, oh great. Okay, so for eyebrows, I've got the Natural Collection Brow Pencil. Medium brown. I'm sure I would have picked a blonde one. The brow pencil was 1.99, so it's fine. It's fine that I'll probably never use this again, but <laughs> these are gonna look awful. Okay, I think that's kind of as good as we're gonna get with those. This is definitely way too dark for me. It's just not my shade. It could have definitely been worse, but I just don't get along with like an eyebrow pencil. Like these ones that are like a proper pencil and they literally smell like school. Like that smells like lead. They just don't work for me. I don't mind an eyebrow pencil if it's more of like a crayony, creamy texture, but not the like proper lead pencil ones like a little circus act. I've got a goddamn leaky eye. Like who saw in my last video that this eye was a bit leaky? In fact, no, both of them were leaky in the last one. We were leaking all over the place. Um, <laughs> just this one is leaking. I don't know why it keeps happening. I'm gonna improvise a little bit here because they didn't really have any like cheaper palettes on the Boots website. So I went for an individual, in, in, I said that really weird, individual. No, that is right. An individual eyeshadow and it's by Makeup Obsession and it's their eyeshadow in the shade Linen. So it's like this nice shimmery shade. However, I thought we could use a bit of the contour to put through my crease as well. So that's what I'm going to try and do. Oh no, another one to open, right? He's out again. Why do I look away? I'm gonna take a bit of the contour from earlier and I'm just gonna run a bit of that through my crease. Oh God, how am I gonna do that with my leak? I feel like that actually makes quite a nice through the crease transition-y shade. Like, I feel like that actually worked really well and it blended out really nicely as well. So thanks to a bit of improvisation, we now have a crease shade, but this is the main eyeshadow that I'm gonna be testing. It was, oh, it was two pounds. So the eyeshadow is two pounds, whereas these were three pounds. Yeah, it looks quite pretty. I'm just gonna pop a bit of this on my lid. I don't know how well it's showing up on camera because it is quite a like natural color, but I actually think it looks really pretty. It's just like a subtle, shimmery, kind of like, it's almost like a highlighty color. Like I think you could probably use that as a highlighter. So yeah, that is kind of all I can do with my eyeshadow. It's pretty basic, but it's 
quite nice to have like a natural basic eyeshadow for once so I think that is that done I'm now going to move on to mascara I got the collection color lash mascara this is just in the shade black it says conditions and separates lashes smudge proof and protein enriched my lash is gonna get hench, like why protein? Oh, I guess it like helps them to grow and stuff. So this was 199, so very affordable for a mascara. And is there is there anything in there? I thought it was gonna be a clear mascara then, because there's just nothing on there, but it's Oh is it? Oh no. Okay, so firstly, it's kind of like a grey black. It's not like a super black black. There's like not much product on there. It seems quite watery and a bit like a bit iffy okay let's give this a go i don't have high hopes but i shall give it a try it's not really doing anything at all like this is definitely a very like natural mascara there's just not much color coming off of it and it's not really doing a huge amount yeah i don't really like this i feel like you'd like it if you want really natural lashes like yeah but I don't. I like them to be a bit bigger, so this isn't really for me, but I don't really know what else to say. It's just, it's barely done anything. Like, honestly, would you think I had mascara on right now? I feel like I wouldn't. I wouldn't think that I did if I just walked up to myself. That'd be weird. So for lips, I've got a Natural Collection 2-in-1 Lipstick Liner, and this one's in the shade Barely There, so it's like a nudey, browny kind of colour. I used to use a lot of these, like, lip crayons back in the day, like, quite some years ago and I did really like them so I kind of wanted to give this a go it was £2.49 why not just £2.50 why do they do that so it's left quite a like glossy look which is strange I thought it was going to be matte because it's like a pencil but it's not it's left like a glossy finish and it was super creamy it was quite easy to apply although I did mess it up but yeah, I think it's actually a really nice colour as well. It's a really pretty colour. So I guess this is my makeup done, although I feel like it's not done because I have hardly anything on my eyes. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like... Wait, how much did this one top up to? So overall, this should have come to £24.43. However, because Boots always have like their three for twos and stuff, I basically managed to save £8.49 because of all the deals. So this full face cost me £15.95. So it's actually cheaper. Oh no, how much was the Superdrug one? I think it's come to cheaper than the Superdrug one. So yeah, and I also think it looks a little bit better. Yeah, I think it looks a little bit better than the Superdrug one, apart from the lack of mascara. I just think these products generally worked better. Yeah, I think it turned out average bit average you know not not, not uh, oh, I don't really know what I'm talking about but yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as I said before give this a thumbs up if you want more of these cheapest makeup product things things they're called videos cheapest makeup product videos because I'm finding them really fun and it's just really interesting to see how the cheaper stuff turns out so yeah let me know if you want more of them and I'll definitely do that hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching and I will see you very very soon goodbye Oh, yeah.